I, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to add and subtract values in degrees, minutes, second using the TI Inspire graphing calculator. I do have this video also with hand calculations or these same examples with hand calculations. So if you want to see how they are done by hand, um, you can check out that video as well. Um, but for this one, what we can do is we can put the values exactly as they are into the graphing calculator and we can convert it to degrees, minutes, seconds. So our answer is in the same format. So let's get started. For the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 25 degrees, 45 minutes, 38 seconds, and add it to 40 degrees, 17 minutes, 47 seconds. Um, so these are the values that I'm going to be putting into the calculator. So let me go ahead and grab my calculator. I'm going to just add a calculator screen to my new document because I didn't have anything else in there. Um, so I just started from the home screen, add a calculator, and then remember to find our degrees, minutes, seconds, you're going to hit the catalog button and it is under option two. So mine is already there because I've been working with it. But if you go to option two, um, what we want to do is we want to look for degrees, minutes, seconds, and it is under angle. So it starts at number and then angle. And so then we're going to go to degrees, minutes, seconds and hit enter. And notice it automatically puts in the degrees, the minutes, and the seconds. So we can put in our first one, 25 degrees, 45 minutes, and 38 seconds. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add to this. And we want to go back to the same place and select the degrees, minutes, seconds again. And for this one, we're going to do the 40 degrees, 17 minutes, 47 seconds. So again, all I was doing is entering this example that I have written down on paper. Okay. Um, and now what I want to do, if I hit enter, it's either going to give us the answer as radians or degrees, depending upon what value you have. So if you want it to be degrees, minutes, seconds as your answer, we're going to go back to the catalog and we're going to go down here to convert to DMS. So we want to convert to degrees, minutes, seconds. And so it's going to put the answer as degrees, minutes, seconds, like we already have. Okay. Um, so we get our answer as 66 degrees, three minutes and 25 seconds. So it does all of the simplification for you. So if you have um, minutes or seconds that are greater than 60, it automatically borrows and simplifies it for you. Okay. All right. So for the next one, what we are going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but with subtraction and really it's just as simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, our catalog and go back up to the degrees, minutes, seconds, and we're going to go ahead and plug it in. So we would do the 85 degrees, 15 minutes and 37 seconds. So again, I'm just entering in these values. I have it written down on paper. So that's where I'm getting it from. Um, and then we would do the minus and just go back to our catalog. It's still on the degrees, minutes, seconds. And we're going to plug in the 46, 22 minutes and 45 seconds. Just to make sure I have it right. 85, 15, 37, 46, 22, 45. Okay. And then we're going to go to our catalog and we're going to convert this to degrees, minutes, seconds, because if you don't, like I said, it will either put it in um, radians or degrees. And this one does default to radians. So most likely it is in radians. And then when I hit enter, I get 38 degrees, 52 minutes, 52 seconds. So that would be the answer to this problem. So the TI Inspire does make this very easy to input. It is much easier than the TI 84. Um, and also it's shorter than doing it by hand. So you can just plug it directly in under the catalog in the calculator section. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And, as if, and if you get a chance, please consider subscribing.